get a free copy of Athium software using the link provided in this video description. When you sign up for an Athium Designer free trial, you will get an Athium 365 and 25% off discount. Hello and welcome to a new project. Today we will learn how to design a PCB in Athium Designer. The circuit that we want to create is a simple calculator using a big microcontroller. So we will start from schematic to a PCB and finally we will get a 3D view like this. So let's get started. First we will create a new project. So we will go to file, new, project, then we will change the project's name to calculator. Then we will select the folder. And hit create after that we will create a two files one for a schematic and the other for a BCB then we will save the two files to the same project file right click then save the other one as well then we will go to the schematic sheet this is the circuit that we want to create so now we want to get all these components. So we will go to manufacture part search and search on BIC 16F877. Right click and place. Then we want to get the crystal Then we want to get the capacitors 22 pico farad Then we will choose throw hole capacitor. Right click and place. Now we want to get the keypad, so we will make a matrix of push buttons. So manufacture part search and search on button. Right click and place.
and finally we want to get the LCD so we will go to component and snap and drag it here after that we want to connect all the component according to the circuit Then we will connect the LCD. And now we want to add the label to the pins. Now we want to add a USB board for power. So we will go to manufacture part search and search on USB. Right click and place. Then we will connect the ground. and the 5 volt now the circuit is almost done but there is an error because there is a many component have the same name to solve that error we have to go to tools annotation annotation schematic then we will update the change list OK and accept the changes, validate, execute and OK. Now every single component have a unique name. Then we will convert this schematic sheet to a PCB. So we will go to design, update PCB document, then we will hit validate, execute and close. So this is the PCB view. Now we want to rearrange this component to fit in the PCB layout. Now we want to convert this component from top layer to bottom layer.
Now we want to change the board shape. So we will go to view, board blending mode, then we will go to design, edit board shape. Then we will change the board to fit all the components. Now we want to draw the cover tracks between the component. So we will go to route, go to route, all, then hit route all. Now we want to view the 3D view of that board. So we will go to view, 3D layout mode. So this is the circuit that we got. Hopefully this video will be useful for you. And thank you for listening. This video is brought to you by Antium 365, where the world designs electronics, and Octopar, the fastest search engine for electronic parts.